Secretary facing questions about President Biden's approval rating as he spends the week in a $20 million mansion at the beach. Here's how she responded. You know, we have said this before. It's like, we get it. We understand what the American people are feeling at this time. This is a number one priority. Inflation has been a number one priority for this president. Ashley Rinsberg joins me now. Ashley, good morning to you. So there's Karine Jean-Pierre saying, we get it. People are unhappy. But then later in the interview, she said, oh, by the way, Biden is running again for in 2024. What's your reaction to this? I think they might get it, but I don't really think they care. I mean, you, you know, you just pointed out that Biden is vacationing in a $20 million home, which good for him, but for the rest of us out here, it doesn't look good. And you want a leader who you feel like is on your side and can relate to the experience you have right now, not an experience he might have had 50 years ago when he was a kid. And that is just not the message he's sending out. And, and I think that's because he actually does not care. Yeah, well, he is on vacation right now. He had a run in with some reporters while on the beach. Take a listen to how that exchange went down. Will you come talk to us? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he made a joke there, but, you know, this is at a time when the former president's Mar a Lago home was just raided. We're now looking at the unfortunate anniversary of the withdrawal from Afghanistan. A lot of uh, pressing news items are still going on, and he's on a bike at the beach, and he has faced criticism about dodging questions from the media before. I think this is a pretty clear case of his handlers being terrified of Biden getting in front of that microphone, and they're doing everything they can to keep him away, exactly at a time when we need the president of the United States to be leading the country, to be telling us what is what. And we've seen this on the Democratic side and Republican side with previous leaders and previous presidents who got in front of the story and said, look, this is a tough time. We're going to face reality. They sat at the, White, at the Oval Office at the desk telling the American people what is going to be and being honest about it. And here we've got Joe Biden biking along on the beach in South Carolina, avoiding reporters and essentially avoiding the American people. And I think that's the bigger issue here is that you cannot, as president, avoid the people that you are accountable to. And I think that is the one of the many, many failures that we're seeing coming out of the Biden White House. That's a great point. Ashley, there's also this uh, from CBS News, a report that caught our attention that links climate change to increased rates of change childhood obesity. Watch this. A new study showing how climate change, specifically higher temperatures, is making our children uh, more inactive and more obese. The study published in a journal Temperature found today's children are 30 percent less aerobically fit than their parents were at their age. Fewer children are reaching the World Health Organization's recommendation of 60 minutes of exercise. What do you think about this? <laughs> I mean, I, I personally can't make the connection between increased temperatures of a degree or two, three degrees or whatever it is today and children not exercising. I mean, we have air conditioning. You can exercise indoors. And I think you have to also consider that kids today are glued to their screens. And I can see it even my kids who are very young. And I would say the screens play at least a greatest role in the, the lack of exercise and the obesity rates. And of course, food, the kind of food we eat today. But what the real story here is that everything just automatically, reflexively gets related back to climate change. That is sort of a catch.